With proverbs, there are a lot of similarities. Sometimes we do say the same stuff. So far, so good. Hit the nail on the head. The early bird catches the worm. But in addition to the early worm, we have Morgenstund hat Gold im Mund, which is translated to morning hour has gold in the mouth, which is an exact translation from a Latin phrase. And it's just very German. Like if you get up early, you can do a lot of work. So you throw in the towel, wir werfen das Handtuch, which is the same. But we also have die Flinte ins Korn werfen. We throw the shotgun into the cornfield. As you do. And sometimes there's just a small difference. We do not say blind as a bat, we say blind as a mole. You kill two birds with one stone, we beat two flies with one trap. You got to swallow the bitter pill, we have to bite into the sour apple. You buy a pig in a poke, we buy the cat in the sack. You compare apples and oranges, we compare apples and pears. And if you wish break a leg, we wish you not only a broken leg, but also a broken neck. Just to be sure. You say to be half-baked, which is in German noch grün hinter den Ohren sein, so you are still green behind the ears. When you are on cloud nine, we are only on cloud seven. You say not to have all one's marbles, we say you have not all the cups in your cupboard. And speaking of tableware, du hast einen Sprung in der Schüssel. You have a crack in your dish, which just means you're crazy. Which leads us to sayings that are pretty unique. Er hat was auf der Pfanne. He has something on his pan. This comes from people shooting the musket. If you have gunpowder on your pan, you are ready to shoot. So nowadays it means you have something up your sleeve. You are capable of doing something. And it goes the other way. If you don't have anything on your pan, you can't shoot, so you are useless. Du bist auf dem Holzweg. You are on the woodway. Which means you are completely wrong. And it has nothing to do with a wooden floor. In the Middle Ages, when they were chopping wood, there were paths in the forest which would lead you to the wood, where it was laying ready to be transported, but it was a dead end. So if you were not a woodworker and you were just wandering around, you had to turn back because it was the wrong way. The wood way. Darauf kannst du Gift nehmen. You can take poison on that. It means you can bet on it. Nicht mehr ganz knusper sein. To be not quite crispy anymore. Like, you are not right in the head. I must admit I haven't heard that one in a while, but I will use it. From now on. Very often. Ich glaub mein Schwein pfeift. I think my pig whistles. It just means, well, that story that you're telling me can't be true. Or, I believe I'm dreaming. Klappe zu, Affe tot. Lit down, monkey dead. It means, that's it. That's just... That's it. And the story behind it is as cruel as you might think. In the past, circuses often had a small monkey in a wooden box at the ticket office to lure more people into the circus. And if the monkey died, the box would stay closed and there would be no show. Klappe zu, Affe tot. Mein Englisch ist nicht das Gelbe vom Ei. My English is not the yellow from the egg. Which means it's not good. Apparently, the egg yolk is much better than the egg white. Mit ihm ist nicht gut Kirschen essen. With him is not good cherry eating. <laughs> the story behind the saying is that cherries were quite rare in the Middle Ages and were only available to aristocratic people. So there was a high chance if you, the mob, would walk past them, they would spit the cherry stones at you. So they were not good cherry eating. Basically, it means that you don't get along with someone. Spring über deinen Schatten. Jump over your shadow. It's like, come on. Get out of your comfort zone. Da haben wir den Salat. Now we have the salad. In this case, salad is a metaphor for chaos. Because you have to admit, all the ingredients in a salad are very chaotic. And it's always something negative. Also, if you have a lot of cables lying around, it's a Kabelsalat. Or if you are old enough to remember, this is a Bandsalat. A tape salad. Geh dahin, wo der Pfeffer wächst. You should go where the pepper is growing. Which just means, I don't like you. Please go far, far away. As Germany is not famous for their pepper growing, most spices came from far, far away, like India, which just was completely out of reach. Mal nicht den Teufel an die Wand. Don't paint the devil on the wall. It comes from an old legend saying, if you paint the devil on the wall, you can summon the devil. So if you're painting the devil on the wall, you are very pessimistic and thinking of the worst case scenario. By saying, don't do it, we mean that things will probably turn out better. Than you expect. Lass die Kirche im Dorf. Leave the church in the village. It has a similar meaning to don't get carried away or don't exaggerate. It has a couple of origins. One is in the past as churches were the center of the village 
the Catholic Church did religious processions, which means they were walking through the village and all the villagers behind them. But if the village was too small, they had to go around the village. So the neighbors would say, leave the church in the village. Like, don't overdo it. Wie man in den Wald hineinruft, so schallt es heraus. How you shout into the forest, so it echoes back. It's similar to what goes around comes around. And like it says in the Bible, for whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. It's a lot about karma, but in German there are shouting forests, which I find pretty accurate. Wer den Pfennig nicht ehrt, ist des Talers nicht wert. If you don't honor the cent, you are not worth the dollar. It's like a penny saved as a penny earned, but a little bit more cutthroat. Wasser predigen, aber Wein trinken. To preach water, but drinking wine. This is one of my favorites. Basically just means you're not practicing what you preach. The origin comes from a poem from Heinrich Heine. And he criticized the church, who said that the people should accept the miserable conditions they were living in. While drinking wine, obviously. Yeah. Lügen haben kurze Beine. Lies have short legs. It just means you don't get very far with it. And something quite similar. Wer einmal lügt, dem glaubt man nicht, auch wenn er dann die Wahrheit spricht. You don't believe someone who lied once, even though he speaks the truth. But it's much cooler, because it rhymes. Das ist das A und O. This is the A and O. Which means this is the most important. The most essential. It comes from the Greek alphabet, which starts with alpha and ends with omega. Der Ton macht die Musik. The sound makes the music. It's not what you say, but how you say it. Kleinvieh macht auch Mist. Small kettle also makes crap. It means that even small contributions are very important. Or if you find a dollar in the street, you say, Kleinvieh macht auch Mist. It's something. As Germany has a lot of regional differences, from history, way of speaking, to overall culture, there are also some sayings which are only known in certain regions. I am from Berlin. And we also have a dialect. And when you think German is a hard sounding language, the dialect of Berlin is like a punch in the face. Keine Haare auf dem Kopf, aber ein Kamm in der Tasche. No hairs on your head, but a comb in the bag. It just means you're a fraud or you're bragging too much. And it's also said to teenagers who think they know everything about the world, who are still green behind the ears. And I would like to end this video with a really nice romantic poem in the dialect. Of Berlin. Die Liebe ist ein Feuerzeug, das herzet ist der Zunder. Und fällt ein kleines Fünkchen so, so brennt der ganze Plunder. Love is a lighter, the heart is the tinder. And if one tiny spark appears, the whole junk bursts into flames. It's quite romantic, I must say. Maybe it's just a little bit lost in translation. Warte mal, ohne, ohne, hm? ohne Emotion. So, ja? Oder so? So. Immer so. Okay. Ah, war klar. Und eine erste Stelle. Ein, einmal ganz weit unten, dann immer richtig durch. Okay. Eins, zwei. Oh, jetzt, ich wollte es ohne Emotion machen. Jetzt habe ich voll Emotion. Ah! Nochmal? Mit, einmal ohne noch. Emotion? Einmal noch. Nee, ich mach so. Ich glaube, ich nehme das, wo ich dann noch ein bisschen klar. Einmal machen wir noch. Okay, einmal. <lacht> ich kann nicht, ich muss lachen, okay. aber das war gut. Okay.